What's up, everyone? How's it going? It's John here from Gateway Breaks, here with our Hot List Insider blog number 17. Today we're going to go ahead and talk about two guys. Let's start with G. Thought I'd do something different. So we'll go ahead and start off. As you guys know, we do one hockey, one baseball. Tonight we're going to go ahead and start off with our hockey, as we always do. Our first one is a young gun from this year, and his name is Denis Gunyarnov. He was a 2015 draft from the 2015 draft, number 12 overall. Kind of a surprise pick for a lot of people for the Dallas Stars, but this guy has a good, accurate, hard shot. He is able to go ahead and be a, a presence on the ice with his blazing speed, and he likes to go ahead and take a shot from what we call the Ovechkin office. If he gets that shot, he's deadly. So he's a good one to go ahead and watch out for. A um, couple things about him. He's still learning to adjust to the North American game on and off the ice. Um, just getting to, you know, acclimated with his surroundings. So it's taken him a little bit of time. But it shouldn't go ahead and affect him in the long run. The amazing thing, though, because it is taking him so long. Well, not that long, but it is taking him a little bit longer. Is his rookie card right now? This bad boy? Whoops. This bad boy right here? Yep. That's a buck. So, if you have a chance, you have 20 extra bucks, go ahead and buy 20 of them. I think it'll be good for you. Because I think this guy will go ahead and pay off. I think he could go ahead and definitely, before he even gets to the NHL, when he starts developing, could go ahead and jump up to $5, $10. As soon as he hits the NHL, could be $10, $15. Pretty good money to go ahead and do that for only a dollar investment. As our second guy goes, we're going to go ahead and back to Miami Marlins because they still have a ton of pitchers. So we're going to go with Braxton Garrett. He's our next guy. He is the seventh overall pick in the 2016 draft. Fourth ranked overall prospect for the Miami Marlins, which is okay. Fourth ranked. What's even better about it, he's fourth ranked and he hasn't even pitched hardly at all in the last 12 months. So he's still keeping his rank at number four when he hasn't even pitched. He's coming off that what we call TJ surgery, Tommy John surgery. So he's going to go ahead and have a little bit more time that he's going to have to get back in the swing of things. But when he does, I think he'll be a, a good pitcher, and I think he'll rise the ranks quickly. He has an amazing curveball, probably the best one in the whole entire class from 2016. He has a good fastball, and his command is definitely above average. So you can definitely see him being someone that could be a maybe a one, I would definitely say a two starter. So he's someone that can go ahead and be impactful as soon as he goes ahead and gets back on track from his TJ surgery. So hopefully that will go ahead and happen soon. I'm thinking probably mid-year this year, upcoming year. His cards right now are going for 6 to $8. I never thought I would go ahead and talk about him on a blog that we talk about lower-end cards. But because his value has dropped so much, we're able to. Um, this card, when it first came out, was anywhere between $25 to $30. I wouldn't be surprised if it jumps right back up there again as soon as he gets right back on track. So today's guys have very little as far as their amount of um, money that you're putting into them right now. But they could be quite good investments for you later on. Might take some time, but if you're looking for something to go ahead and be like a little project, these two guys might be a good idea for you. Again, this is John with Gateway Breaks. We go ahead and do a hot list insider blog every single day. There was just a couple of guys that we think are undervalued in the hobby world right now. We do have our website called gatewaybreaks.com. We are on eBay at Gateway Break is our username. We do have some prospects that are up there right now. And we go ahead and we'll be back tomorrow, same time, hopefully, 8 o'clock. Next week, we're going to go ahead and talk about some prospects that I did not think would ever be talked about on here. But because the prices have dropped, we will talk about them. And I think those cards can rebound very quickly. So until tomorrow, we'll talk to you then.